Hello, this is the Flashman 48 track 6152C, which is fairly well constructed, and this video is about programming it with digital control. It has a manual lever underneath, and there's a special assistant that's available for a stress test. Of course, I could control it by the keypad on the twin control, but that's a pain. The alternative is to use the turn control which has rather a simplified diagram. It's a question of selecting which track to exit on, shall we say, pushing the button and that rotates the bridge. You also have the ability to switch the power from one end to t'other if you need to feed uh, extension sections. This is an overall shot of my layout in Railroad and Co. Diagrammatic, of course, you can see a turntable on the right hand side of the main diagram. There's also a window for controlling the turntable on the right hand side away from the main screen. We see the turntable represented here in the switchboard view but I can use either the turntable window to operate the turntable to the different desired tracks and it's reflected in the main diagram but the bridge is only either in a vertical or horizontal position. If I choose the selection view then I can actually activate the turntable also from the switchboard diagram and again it's reflected in the turntable window over on the right hand side. But all of this of course has got to be set up and it's done through a dialog box. Double clicking on the symbol brings up this. Here we can name the turntable itself and also match the rotation period so it matches the window. We can also obviously add the address so that the controller knows what to manipulate. And here we see a representation on the left hand side of the turntable itself, complete with bridge and crossbar. Now we're matching the graphical information to the diagrammatic one that appears in the switchboard. So these have to be matched. And also we can dictate which way the engine leaves the bridge. Double clicking on the block is the center bridge where we can see that there's a stop marker and an action marker for a whistle in both directions. Here's a closer view of a schedule that I'm going to run. So selecting the different schedules, you can see that indicated underneath the turntable symbol. I've already got a engine located on it so double clicking on it will start the schedule the train moves forward as you can see from the speedometer it arrives at the access blocks and turns it pink it's pre-booked through the green line forward through to the bridge and carries on now we see in the top diagram the bridge itself which then toots the whistle with the grey marker and then the red one activates and stops the train the route is booked ahead further and the turntable symbol moves at the bottom of the diagram. Once it's in line, then the software starts the engine again. And the top block has now switched to the parking block. And we see it's gone pink, so the train has arrived. And it eventually activates the stop marker, which is the end of that particular schedule. And everything is then released. Well, I hope you found that of interest and uh, look forward to seeing you again sometime.